Hi, welcome back. In this recording, we will discuss about the Kubernetes secrets. First of all, we'll discuss why we need, as per the definition, if we are having a small amount of sensitive data that we cannot expose in a port specification, or you, or you can say that we cannot set a config map for them, that time Kubernetes secret is the way to store them on the Kubernetes cluster. We'll talk about the fact. The first fact is that the Kubernetes secrets is the namespace object. Like whatever namespace you are giving them, they work based on that namespace. Again, uh, all other uh, Kubernetes resources, they are also uh, RBAC controller. And we can say there's a limit of one MB of sensitive data. Now we are coming on the type. So this is the length. Here you can go ahead and read out more about secrets if you need that what kind of encryption is there. There's a base64 encryption. And if you want to then decrypt, there's a way to decrypt as well. So we are not going in that mode that which one is the best practice. So we go for vault as secrets or secrets are not secure. We will not go on that side. We will just going to read through the secrets. And after that, we'll discuss about the CK exam type of question based on the secrets. So let's start type of secrets. So here I'm going to my Kubernetes cluster. So this is kubectl get secret and hyphen h. So it's saying to me, so my command is, sorry, what I secrets hyphen h, it show kubectl create secret, sorry, I'm not, Let's make it clear. Again, I ran into the create secret. So as per this kubectl command, we are having three type of secrets. The first one is the Docker registry. Another one, the type of generic. And the last one is the TLS. So we can say we are having three type of Kubernetes secrets. In case of Docker registry as the name, uh, 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 why we're not going like that way? So what is Docker registry secrets? So start it. So as per definition, is saying that, see here, when I run the command, I will get this kind of a result. Create a new secret for use with the Docker registry. We know when we have to log in with the Docker, we require this command, Docker login, after that Docker registry server, username and the password. The same way we can create the secret for Docker registry and we can provide the value into the pod manifest file. So while fetching the image, it will automatically authenticate our Docker registry and pull image from our private registry. Now again, come on that another part, the generic one <clears throat> is saying that, sorry, <clears throat> create a secret from a local file. So we are having option to create secret from local file directory or literal value. So that is also we can see on the same way, see uh, how, what is generic secrets. So you will get the full information. It's saying that a single secret may package one or more key value pair. It can be a file, it can be a directory or a literal value. There's a way to show that the way to create a type of secret, like you can execute the command, uh, my secrets from file path. You can create secret from that uh, literal value. Like here, I'm having a key and value. This one is my key and this is my another key. And from this key, I'm going to create the secrets. <clears throat> You, like you can set as per your requirement. Last, again, come on the same way. This is our TLS. As name suggests, this is TLS type means is saying to us, when I ran this command, I got this result. And it's saying that TLS secret where we are creating, where we require public private key pair. So as name suggests, as well as is provided that all command that required for it, so that's it for the secrets. We understood what is the secrets, what the fact behind the secrets, and what is the type of secrets. Now uh, we are coming on the exam type. So make it alas. I'm going here, one of my setup secrets. So make it more clear. So in case of CK exam, there's often, uh, there's a one question get repeated that in which uh, they are divided into two parts. The first part, the question come for 
a Kubernetes secrets like they are giving some value to you the user and the value is for admin the key is the password and value is some one two three four based on these value we have to create the secret so as we understood already we saw this three type of secrets and based on the value we can use that generic type of secrets and here they asking that input as a key and value so we are having key and value from literal type already we saw the command if you're going to execute kubectl create secrets generic and after that you put hyphen help hyphen h there you will get the full command get help from the command change your user and password as a key value format and create the secrets like you don't remember anything you just to remember that if you execute kubectl create secrets and type whatever type generic and after that you if you put the hyphen h you will get the full command like in that way i'm again showing it's a free equation sorry uh, i put the wrong kubectl so it's a free hit kind of question it's giving us the answer like if you are able to remember kubectl create secrets and type of the secrets and hyphen s then it will giving the name of the secrets and after that it will giving you the full command by which you can create your username and password let's again start it so i create i ran the command already i ran this command on my system and i created one secret that name is my secret kubectl get secrets and it's in the default namespace so i created this kubernetes uh, in, in in my uh, kubernetes cluster on the default namespace the name is my secrets because it's generic so it's showing the type opaque and now we are coming on the next part of the question now we can see that we are having the secret but how we can use that there is a two way to use a secret the first one we can use a kubernetes secret as an environment variable of a pod number two we can use as a mount volume in this problem we will see how we can use a kubernetes secret as an environment variable like we will get the question kind of uh, create a kubernetes secrets from the given value that we did it now we are coming the second part of the question like use abu secrets create a pod and expose your secrets value as a environment variable so up to this one we can get from our short command for creation of the pod that already we discussed and after that what we have to remember we have to remember this syntax uh, you can get it the same syntax from kubernetes.io as well but for uh, you can say that you need to remember those things to make uh, more get to more time in the exam so these value we have to provide it here we have to start with the value from and this is the line that by which a kubernetes pod understand that the value are coming from a secrets and after that we have to provide the name of the secrets and the key like here we are having the key username and username value is admin and again the same way that we are exposing the next environment so we know that in kubernetes we have to provide the environment first of hyphen name and after that value from that is special syntax for secrets and we are providing here key wrapper password so we already created this pod and if i'm going kubectl get pod i use the same manifest file and i created this pod now i'm going inside the pod and will verify Will that value get appeared or not as environment variable and so you know we know that we are having the first value as username is equal to admin and after that password is equal to one two three four so i went into the port and this is my in p and when i invoke the all environment variable inside a port like we i'm inside the port and you can see here i got the uh, first i got here username somewhere we'll get username so this this one first we will go as a secret password like we put secret password here and here we provided the key is equal to password and the password value is we already know that one two three four and here we having secret password is equal to one two three four that perfectly fine and this is username here we created that our environment variable as a secret username and we want to take value from our secrets that is my secrets and in case 
we want to take value for the key username and when we created the secrets we can say that username is equal to admin and the same value we got here username is that is the motto of this recording i'm not going uh, to put the port in which we can use uh, secrets as a mount volume that is based on you like you can do it yourself on the same way so in this recording uh, we'll learn that uh, what is the secrets type of secret how we can use them and what kind of question uh, will get asked uh, in in ck exam that's it for uh, this recording like i'm going to end this recording we will do something new in the next recording